So, let's begin with the analysis of the foundation. Specifically, that of the isolated footing for the last column. And for that purpose, I'll display first the number of nodes. So we can identify the one of the column. Or the number 7 in this case. Now, here we've the proposed design for this foundation. Along with of course its general dimensions. But also those of the pier. And finally, several optimization settings. For the time being though, let's keep the first proposed design for this foundation. Or the one corresponding to the moments and internal forces exerting between the column and the footing. In this instance and specifically, for the node number 7. Although, we may choose any other, if need be. Now to begin with, we can see that this footing presents a slight eccentricity. Perhaps do both, the weight, and the pressure exerted by the retaining wall. Thus producing this particular displacement.